I was younger, I was into video games. Somebody like the fuse who I can bring bad news to all these crews who can't NBA jam. What's going on, guys? Welcome back to another beer review. Uh, we're mixing mixing in a hoppy beer review. Um, I am absolutely stoked to check this beer out. Um, I recently did a beer trade with Peter, aka the Master of Hoppets on YouTube. Um, if you guys are watching my channel, for sure you are subscribed to him. He's one of the OGs in the beer reviewing world. Um, I've been watching his videos forever. It's funny. Like he was one of the people that I would, like would watch his videos. I'm like, you know what? I think I should start doing this. So you're awesome, Peter. Um, but yeah, we did a trade. Um, I sent him some um, New England style beers, some hops, and a couple other beers. He did a um, beer mail unboxing video, which um, I was I did that and. I actually, so a couple things. One, it's insane what happened. I sent him beers um, and it took almost six weeks to get to him. He used everything I had read online and said, when you ship internationally for beer, you should use USPS. So I did that, mistake number one. It got stuck in customs in Los Angeles for almost three weeks. They thought the box was lost. So I eventually called the post office and said, hey, this tracking says that the box was in customs and it was leaving LA and there hasn't been an update. And they gave me the whole runaround and then like a week later, I got a phone call saying, oh, they found it, it's getting shipped. It took one day to get to Denmark. And I was like, okay, we might be okay. Got to Denmark, got stuck there for two and a half, I think almost two and a half weeks in their customs. So it took almost six weeks to get him his box of beer. So by the time he got half the beers that I sent, they were quote unquote old. So I was really, really bummed about that. Um, and so I had told him like, hey, wait till you get your beer from me. I've never shipped internationally before. It's expensive, it's crazy. Um, I was like, wait till you get my beer before you send yours. And he was like, cool, um, got my beer. He already actually reviewed all of them, which is really cool. Actually, there's one more beer he has left to review at some point, but, um, and he's like, hey, I got a message. And he's like, hey, I'm shipping you um, your beer on Wednesday. This was last Wednesday. And I was like, cool, you know, thinking it's going to be a couple weeks before I get it. He used UPS something or other. I got that beer in two fucking days. I'm like, what? did it even go through customs? Like, I don't understand how the post office took six weeks to get my beer to him and you, UPS took two days. I can't even ship from Southern California to Northern California in two days. And I got beer from fucking Denmark in two days. Insane. Um, so when the box, when the box got to my office, I opened everything up just to make sure everything made it and it did. And then I came home to do a video to show everyone the beers that he sent. And it was this big box that I sent him. If you saw his video, same box, he used the same box. I put the box up on this table that I sit at. And when I put the box down, it hit my mic. And I don't know what happened, but when I went to edit the video, it was sta as soon as the box hit the microphone, either something happened with a cord or I don't know what happened. It was static the entire time and I couldn't edit it out. So I had to delete the video. So he sent me, I think it was like eight or nine killer beers, um, a couple hoppy beers. So I'm gonna drink those now and get those videos uploaded. The other ones I'm gonna kind of drink um, as I go. I've got a bunch of other stuff I have to upload and all that stuff. So I, I don't know how I'm gonna do it, but shout out to you, Peter. Thank you so much. Um, it was kind of a stressful first international trade for me. I, I don't think I'm going to use USPS if I ever ship internationally again. But yeah, please go check Peter's channel out and subscribe if you haven't. I'm pretty sure if you're watching my videos, you're subscribed to him. So anyways, um, the first beer that I wanted to review from him, um, he had sent a note and said that he thinks that this is the best beer, best European beer as far as hoppy beer goes. Um, I think it's brewed in the New England style. He actually just did. I didn't watch it because I didn't want to hear what he said. I, I don't think I, I did not watch that video. Um, but he, I saw that he did a battle beers between this and green. So um, after I drink this and uh, get this edited, I'm going to watch that video to see what he thought about that. But um, this is from, I'm going to butcher this, Stiegbergs. Um, <laughs> I don't think I said that right. But this is GBG Beer Week 2016, it's called. And it's rad seeing this bottle. You can see how hazy that beer is just in the bottle, even as dark as it is out here. Um, this is a 100% Nelson hopped beer, 6.5% IPA. Um, I think they brewed it this year for GBG Beer Week. I'm not sure, or if it's for, it says 2016, so it had to be for this year. I just wonder because the label on here says GBG Beer Week for 2017 is in March. So I don't know if this got brewed like back in March and then they just redid it again. Um, but I, Peter got this, I think he said he got this from a buddy of his to put in my box, so I don't know, I know I'm thinking Peter, but there's someone else that I need to think, and I'm, I apologize for not knowing who it is at the moment, but um, 
whoever made this possible, thank you so much if you ever see this video. Um, the one thing I will say that's kind of interesting for this is it says best before um, the label's kind of rubbed off, but I think it says best before March 17th, or I'm sorry, March 28th of 2017. So they're, this beer was bottled two weeks ago from what Peter said. So they're giving their beers about a four month shelf life, which is interesting, but yeah, 100% Nelson hopped. I'm sorry, this, this video is probably going super long already, but wanted to kind of give you guys the background of where this beer came from, what it's all about. So anyways, uh, let's get into this one. I love, love, love me some Nelson hops. I love New England style beers. And I've been drinking nothing but stouts and porters and shit lately, so I'm really looking forward to this one. So let's go ahead and give her a pour. I can smell that already. And it is hazy. Totally looks like a Nelson beer, super light. I like the color of it. Fuck, that is just exploding out of the glass. Um, yeah, it's that light, like pineapple juice. It is hazy. Uh, there was a bright white head. It's dissipating pretty quick. Let's see if we can generate some more head. Sorry for swirling. Uh, yeah, there's a finger of bright white head and there's some glass lacing, but yeah, that looks, if you were, I mean, <laughs> that looks like a New England style beer in the glass. It looks awesome. So I could fucking smell that as soon as I open it. So let's go ahead and shove our nose in it. <laughs> it smells like Nelson candy. Fuck. <laughs> that smells so good. It is just grapey, grape skin. And then think like if there was grape hard candy, that's what that smells like. There is a killer, like, vinous, green, herbaceous note, too. Fuck, this smells so juicy. And it also has, like, that yeasty kind of bubblegum thing that I get from a lot of treehouse beers. That's in this. It's just crazy how, I mean, if, if you gave this to someone blind and said, hey, what beer is this? They would guess this was a New England, style, like, a beer from the United States, for sure. You would never guess this was a European beer, I don't think. Not, I mean... I've never had one before, but I would say this is either like a Treehouse Trillium, uh, Monkish Beer, something along that line. The nose is fucking insane, so let's go ahead and check this one out, Peter. Cheers. Thanks, bro. That is delicious. I will say, just first sip... Um, I don't think the taste is as explosive as the nose. The nose is insane. Um, the taste definitely follows, but it's not as crazy explosive. And then the only other thing that would kind of tell you this might not be a treehouse or a trillion beer is the mouthfeel. It's not like that crazy over the top, but this is ridiculously Nelson. It's just, it's fucking Nelson for days. It's vinous, it's grapey, grape skin. Um, there is an awesome just bitterness that sits on your tongue. It's part of that like kind of green, um, just green kind of like hot matter. It's it's herbaceous. It's it's earthy. I think earthy is the best way to describe Nelson hops. I've always said sometimes with Nelson hops they kind of taste dirty, um, and just think of like my kids eat grapes all the time. And if you just take a grape out of a container and don't wash it and eat it, it's kind of got like that earthy thing uh, going on with it. This is insanely hoppy though. Very hop forward. Um, and I just love that bitterness that's kind of sitting on my tongue. It doesn't say the IBUs, I'm not sure. I mean, I don't think it's that high of an IBU beer, maybe like in the 60s, I would say. Um, but it definitely lets you know, it, you just get that kind of biting, um, like earthy, bitter biting thing on the middle of your tongue. Finish is super dry. I love that in Nelson beers. I'm a huge, huge fan of Nelson beers. Nelson's one of my favorite hops. And it just, it makes me miss like OG Alpine Nelson. I say that every time I drink an awesome Nelson beer, it just makes me miss that beer. Green Flash just fucked that beer up. But yeah, this is insanely good. I'm interested to see how this held, like um, went like in the kind of, not a battle beers thing that he did, but kind of the side by side. Um, I mean, this is one of the better Nelson hot beers I've had. This is insane. These guys absolutely nailed the style. Like I said, um, the nose is so explosive. It's so, so Nelson forward. The taste is just a little bit, um, not, it's not, I don't even know what the best word to say is. It's just a little below what the nose is as far as like what you'd expect from what you smell. Um, and the mouth feels just a touch. It's not thin by any means, but it's just, it's not quite to like that creamy, 
insanely full mouth feel like you get out of Treehouse and Trillium and Monkish beers. But um, I mean, this is this is a world class <laughs> IPA for me. This is fucking insane. So easy drinking. You don't smell booze. You don't taste it. I mean, as far as like a Nelson Hop IPA, this is like a 98 for me. Fucking awesome, awesome stuff. So what a great first beer and a great first New England style European beer. So yeah, that's GBG Beer Week 2016. Um, I always say if you guys have had it, leave comments, but I don't know how many people actually had this that will watch this video. So um, it'll be interesting to see if anyone comments. So yeah, Peter, thanks so much for, uh, for sending this one. And there are more beers from his beer mail package to come. So stay tuned for that. Um, as always, guys, thank you so much for watching, and I will see you very soon. Cheers. Ever since I was younger, I was into video games. Somebody like the fuse so I can bring bad news to all these crews who can't NBA jam with the shoes.